All right, here we go. This is episode six called Armstrong. I was hoping once these episodes quit being continuations and just standalone episodes, they'd be better. I was proven wrong, like an idiot. Okay, so it starts off there in Scrooge's train. It's got dollar signs on the side of it. They're playing some checkers. Scrooge uses gold pieces for, for checkers. I don't know how they king them. Can't stack two little gold pieces on top of each other. Uh, these boulders are just hanging on the top of the hill, and they decide to roll down to crush them. So uh, the dog conductor gets scared, and uh, they hit the train. Scrooge flies through there with his money sacks, and because uh, he always travels with them. Two of the boys die. And Scrooge does his his, uh, his favorite character, old Baghead, and uh, it goes over gangbusters. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, there's a fire. So these firemen are trying to put it out. Launchpad flies by. Scrooge radios him for help. Come help him because their their train is stopped because of the boulders. So Launchpad does his favorite character, which is uh, the guy, one of the bad guys from Hellraiser. Um, and his scarf tries to choke him to death. Uh, so then the, half the city burns down and the fireman with the axe says if he ever sees Launchpad, he'll he'll kill him with that axe. Uh, he's standing, of course, next to, to Down Syndrome Dog and uh, Pete Pelican. Look how freaky they look with the normal people clothes on. Uh, so Launchpad tries to move these boulders. He can't. Gyro shows up, everybody's favorite guy with a hat garter. And... Uh, he must wear that because his hat's constantly blowing off because of good ideas. So he introduces Armstrong, he's this robot, and he lights up. It was the first time I realized that DuckTales was very progressive and ahead of their time because uh, Armstrong's a gay robot. Uh, as you can see here, he kind of he prances down to the rocks, throws him up on top, makes his little head. I don't know if that's supposed to be Scrooge or a nightmare. Either way, it, uh, it only works on one of them. Uh, so they take uh, Armstrong home. Uh, and uh, Gyro loves him, explains that he's in love with Armstrong, that they're a couple, and then he gives a dirty look to anyone who would judge him. Uh, so they make Armstrong vacuum so he does it in the most foppish way possible. Then they realize he's got these plugs on his chest, and he's got a little switch here. You can see it's a G and a B. They push it if he's going to like girls, if he's going to like boys that day. And he meets this little kid, and uh, it's his son. His nose lights up. I don't know what that's supposed to imply. Uh, he turns Scrooge's car into a pink sparkly car. Uh, and then his eyes light up when he winks. The boys are kind of scared. So here they are sitting in their room next to their favorite oil painting of themselves. Looks like a night gallery painting. Uh, Armstrong makes their room clean and sparkly. Pours tea out of his finger, which I would drink. And he makes his wonderful dinner spread. And uh, Scrooge says, hey, I got an idea. Let's see who's better, Launchpad or Armstrong. Uh, so Gyro gets so turned on he can't contain it, starts squealing at the table. So uh, TV shows up to cover this event. All the people are there. Good to see they got TV to come out. Uh, Scrooge says, start the challenge. So they do the famous, uh, you know, a helicopter slalom. That's what people do. And then they do the freeway slalom. And then uh, this guy's painting his billboard by hand, which people do. It takes forever, right? <laughs> and uh, Launchpad gives him a critique. He flies through it. The guy's butt gets all puffy because he's upset. Um, and Launchpad chases some farm animals with his helicopter. And he lands in a, in a mud patch with his hand he's holding. Anyway, Armstrong wins. He flies back. It's nighttime. You find out the entire crowd stayed the whole day until night waiting for them to show up. And then uh, the boys are worried Launchpad's dead, so Duckworth is like, well, we better go home. There's nothing we can do. They're bored. Search parties, you can see. Launchpad comes back home. He brought with him his favorite duck totem. And in the back, it's a, uh, yeah, you can see the, the pole there with the scary faces. Uh, Armstr Armstrong's chest has changed. Now it prints out receipts. The boys love Armstrong, so they decide to go at him. Uh, he gets mad because he doesn't want anyone to interrupt the best night of his life. Scrooge takes Armstrong to his company, and he tells all these freaks that work for him that he's got a special announcement for him. Seeing them dress like that, it looks like uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I don't know if they're supposed to look cute, but they're just scary. He fires everybody. Armstrong takes over. He does all this work. He answers phones. Scrooge plays with a paper airplane and takes a nap while his company pollutes all of Duckburg. You can see the clouds wafting over to the city. 
Uh, Armstrong gets mad. His eyes light up because they tell him he can't live the life he wants. So he comes at Scrooge, saying, if you're going to judge me, you can't have me. Gyro's knocking out one of his uh, Goodwill hunting formulas. And the uh, Armstrong sends these evil little balls out of the little phantasm balls. Scrooge gets duck blurred. Uh, Huey, Dewey, or Louie uses a phone. Call Armstrong. Armstrong pretends to be Gyro, says all's good. Boys go by this toy store with these guilty looking teddy bears. Uh, they all freak out. There's the crotch shot for the episode. Armstrong melts their bikes. They go to get Launchpad to help. He, of course, lives in a, uh, uh, I'm sorry for being ungentlemanly, but a shithole. Obviously, he lives in squalor. Uh, then there's this, this human-dog hybrid guy that's standing next to a jet, takes off. Armstrong tries to have these jets kill the boys. They shoot missiles at them. They duck, and their lives are saved. I don't know how all these people that have died in war haven't just thought to duck. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, Armstrong gets mad and does like a, like a, I have no idea what kind of villain he would do here. Uh, he's, he's the second gayest cartoon character behind Snagglepuss. Uh, he takes a swing at Launchpad, he misses, some water falls on him, his little eyeballs go crazy and his, his light bulbs blow up. He explodes, uh, which is DuckTales commentary on how they feel about gays and lesbians. Uh... And then this episode ends with an exciting conversation about marshmallows and hot chocolate. So, way to have a terrible ending. Uh, yeah, that's all for this episode. I'm strong. Uh, hopefully the next one will be a little better. Uh, I think I've this one's made me more angry than any other one. Uh, but, guys, people can marry whoever they want. Uh, just because they want to marry someone of the same sex doesn't mean you throw water on them and make their light bulbs explode. I think we all learned an important lesson today.